Have you ever asked yourself, how long can a short sale take? Well, you've come to the right place, although the answer may not be what you're expecting. Hi, my name is Don Thornson. I'm known as Don the Short Sale Guy because I have been doing short sales for 20 years. I've helped well over 2,000 homeowners in my career, and uh, they no longer face foreclosure or being stuck with an upside down home thanks to my help. And th in this video, I'm going to talk to you about uh, private banks and Fannie and Freddie mortgages and short sales. Talk, I'm going to talk about FHA and USDA mortgages, and then finally VA. So private banks and Fannie Mae and Freddie Mac backed mortgages tend to take, the, or they tend to be the easiest ones to do. And when I say easy, <clears throat> I mean on a curve. I mean, they're all hard. I mean, if they were easy, everybody would do short sales, right? But I found that private banks in general can be the easiest. And why is that? Well, there's a number of reasons, but there's not as much government red tape because in for private banks, of course, uh, there is no government and it's, they want to move them through. They want to move them through more quickly. The biggest variable in a private bank situation, of course, is the appraisal. And you're going to find that in every single uh, category that I'm talking about in, in this video. And also... Another variable, variable, frankly, is how cooperative is the homeowner? Is the homeowner going to provide us with financial documents right away, or, is he, or are they going to make us wait a week, two weeks, four weeks, or whatever? Are they going to allow showings to be done in a tam timely manner without delay? Are they going to force us to take it off the market temporarily because they're not showing the property consistently, and that's against MLS rules? Those are the variables that, that come up with any uh, any type of mortgage, but let's say that if the homeowner is cooperative and we're not stuck with a horrible, horribly bad appraisal, we can do a, a, a value dispute. You know, it can take uh, three months, four months sometimes uh, before COVID hit. We were closing these things in three, three and a half months uh, for private banks and even with Freddie and Fannie. What I like about Freddie Mac and, and Fannie Mae back mortgages, even though they're after the Great Recession, they became government entities. They are they're much less bureaucratic and their value dispute process is actually pretty quick and, and uh, they're actually pretty reasonable as long as you don't get greedy. I would say that's the biggest problem I, I see a lot of investors make is they're trying to be too greedy, thinking they can get like a $50,000, $80,000 discount. And maybe you could get those back in the Great Recession in 2008, 9, 10, but the, those, those days are over. So what, what, what days are not over is going down to the corner of this screen and click on the subscribe button because I would love to have you subscribe to my channel. And that way you get notified whenever I uh, upload a new video. Obviously you're here, uh, you're interested in short sales and you need to be notified when I get a new uh, video out there. So uh, the next category is FHA and USDA loans. Uh, USDA is the United States Department of Agriculture. Now, depending on where you're at, this may not be something that you come up against because if you're in a, rel a rel very urban area, you may not find as many uh, areas where the USDA gives mortgages, but you'd be surprised. I mean, we, I, I've seen people do USDA mortgages uh, just on the outskirts of Orlando, for example, or Jacksonville or Miami. So there's actually uh, a much wider coverage of USDA loans than you think. Uh, these are, you know, FHA is the Federal Housing Administration, and so they're, you know, or HUD, uh, you know, Housing and Urban Development. So FHA will require the homeowner to go through uh, a loan modification first. That adds time. So I would say that when you have these two government loans, count on maybe having another, add, add an extra couple of months on. So if a private bank, we're talking about the range of, say, three months on a really quick deal to five months if it gets slowed down uh, with the homeowner or, or, or appraiser issues, then that's pretty typical. So um, that's a good idea. So private banks, three to four, maybe five months, uh, I would say probably four to six on a government loan just to be, just to be uh, you know, fully transparent. That's what we're seeing right now at the end of 2021. Uh, if you disagree, if you agree, if you have a comment to make, please go down to the comment section and you know, leave a comment for me. I'd love to engage with you and uh, you know, answer any questions you might have. 
Now I put the VA, lo VA loans or the Veterans Administration loans. Uh, these are loans that are backed by the Veterans Administration, obviously for veterans who've served the armed forces and thank you for your service. Uh, these are the ones that can take a long time. And remember, we're not gurus. I'm not here selling you a course. I'm not trying to you know, get you to buy my coaching or whatever. So I'm, just, I'm a street investor. I've been a street investor for 20 years. I'll just be honest with you. VAs can take a long time. And the reason is, is that they can be harder to dispute. The values will come in high. And even though we try our hardest, sometimes we are stuck with a sky high value that we can't do anything with. And we have to wait out the appraisal. And those things are four months. Those values stay for four months. And that's before you even try again. So uh, let's say if you get stuck with a really high appraisal again, you could have another four months that go by. Now, do they all happen like that? No, I'm just saying that VA has the best chance for you to be waiting longer. So if you're if you're a veteran, you have a, you, you're, you're, you have a VA loan, understand that this is gonna go a little bit uh, it'll be, it'll take a little bit longer than other loans. I would say, you know, five to seven months sometimes on those. But uh, if you're a homeowner and you're looking at doing a short sale and you're not quite sure who to work with, or you have a lot of questions, please go to the description of this video. Uh, there's, my, there's my link there, my website, Don Buys Houses. Go there, click on it, you know, check it out. But every page on there has a very, very, visible, you know, big area where there's a form. Put your name, your email address, and your phone number. I will get notified, and then I'll reach out to you. And we can discuss how we can help you in your uh, short sale. We've been doing this for 20 years. I have an A-plus rating with the Better Business Bureau, so I look forward to working with you. If you're an investor and you come upon these types of mortgages where people are upside down and need, can't sell because they need a short sale and you don't know how to do it, you don't have to know how to do it. You just have to know me and reach out to me. There's a website in the description as well for you to fill out, send me some information, and we can talk about uh, how we can work together. You can find these types of leads, bring them to us, and we can do a joint venture, and we can do what we do best, which is negotiating and creating equity and flipping the property, and you can get money. That's what we do. And if you're a real estate agent, I would say the same thing. Why bother with a short sale? I mean, seriously, why bother? Because um, there, unless you specialize in them, you've done tons of them, they are a pain in the butt. And you would be better off just referring to us and we'll give you a 25% commission referral fee and you just wait for your check and we'll get it to you. So I want to thank you very much for watching this video and I'll see you at my next one. Thanks.